to you who are zooming in with us on this beautiful Sabbath day morning. God has been good and is good to all of us uh, going into this second Sunday in the second month in 2022. It's just a blessing to be in the land of the living. Remember, children, those who are children of God, remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. Holiness is coming together, as the Bible says, forgetting not to assemble ourselves in worship service and prayer and singing praises and hearing the gospel preached uh, is remembering the Sabbath day. God has been too good to all of us to just set aside for a big worldly occasion. Uh, I know the Super Bowl is going on, I know that, but uh, we don't set aside uh, God's commandment for worldly pleasures. We want God to help us in our and we need God every day. But we don't want uh, to anger God and be displeasing before God by not carrying out his commandment. You know, we pray more uh, prayers that are unanswered because we are not obeying God. And when you don't obey God, uh, that's disobedience. The first thing is to make sure that you are straight with God. And the first thing, these are all first, is to stay straight with God by doing his will. Remember what he has done for you in your life. When you didn't have anything, when you didn't have a hope, he came in and gave you hope. He gave you what you needed. Don't put God on the back burner. Put him first in your life. We pray prayers. We want God to hear us. Uh, but he won't hear you if you're disobedient and going contrary. Put him first. God bless you. I, last thing I want to say, don't just stay at home saying, you going to catch COVID at church. Don't believe that lie. You can catch COVID anywhere. Even in your own home, you can catch COVID. Somebody visit you with COVID. And, but don't put God. The only safety is in Christ. Do what the Lord says. You go shopping. You go to the hospital. You go to your doctor. Yes, you do. You go to your these different places. The best place to go is to church. You can socially distance. You can ask uh, where can you be safe if you have that kind of fear. Keep your hand sanitizer. If you just got to wear a mask, go wear a mask. But don't stop worshiping God. Don't stop going to his house of prayer. God bless you.